Welcome to the video, guys. As you all know, it's 2020. The virtue signaling nonsense continues almost on a daily basis. Yesterday, we had the F1 Grand Prix, as most of you will know, where the virtue signaling was strong, but we had some absolute legends refusing to take the knee and standing tall, saying, I will not bow to any political movement. End of story. Which, I do have to say, for these six drivers, earns my total respect because of the pressure they would have been under to do this due to social media and the nonsense that we see every day surrounding cancel culture. Now, as you all know, the Mercedes driver and complete tosspot Lewis Hamilton has been virtue signaling his life away and continued it yesterday, taking the knee alongside 14 other drivers, while, as I said, six of them remained standing. Well, Lewis Hamilton flip-flopped between criticising drivers who refused to kneel and then saying they could do what they want because he didn't want to force them into doing it, showing he's no better than Chuka Ramuna, the flip-flopping politician who bounces from party to party depending on what he thinks is popular. Now, there was also something else that was quite telling during the little protest that they did at the start of the race yesterday because Lewis Hamilton was the only one wearing a BLM shirt. Everyone else just had an end racism shirt, which is obviously a much better message. But this picture here shows Lewis Hamilton, despite obviously knowing what BLM's politics are, supports them wholeheartedly. And as even said, he will continue to take a knee in support of them as the season progresses. So despite many organizations and companies trying to distance themselves from BLM at the moment, it would seem Lewis Hamilton is fully jumping into bed with them and taking all these clothes off which is going to be funny when it all comes crashing down which we know it will and is part of the reason why he made it in to Shit Weasel of the Week, an episode that dropped yesterday. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it up in one of the cards above to the top right. But as you can see from this Telegraph article here, Lewis Hamilton is determined the fight against racism does not die a silent death. Lewis Hamilton could continue to take a knee at F1 races, saying he does not want the fight against racism to die a silent death. Well, running around with that BLM shirt on you is definitely going to prevent that, but not in the way that you think. Hamilton was among 14 cucks who knelt before the opening Grand Prix in Austria. Six, including Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, remained standing. All of them wore end racism t-shirts. However, apart from Hamilton, as I said, who wore a BLM top because he fully supports the Marxist shit weasels that they are. The six-time F1 champion, the sport's only black driver like that actually matters, has been a vocal campaigner against racial injustice in recent weeks following the death of George Floyd in police custody in the US. Which, I'm going to say yet again, has absolutely fuck all to do with the United Kingdom. End of story. The 35-year-old spoke about the topic again as he finished fourth on Sunday, revealing he was talked out of taking a knee at the US Grand Prix three years ago. Well, it's a shame no one talked you out of it this time, you complete an utter tosser. There has been awareness on the subject over the last few weeks, and we don't need it to die a silent death and see no change, said Hamilton. I could be the guinea pig and keep speaking out. Well, that is your words, no one else's. And just take a look at the profile picture this tosser has got. All of us, myself included, we have to be accountable. This started with NFL player Colin Kaepernick. He sat down for the US National Anthem and lost his job for it, and rightly so, the disrespectful fuck. He sat down and received a backlash. Good, it was suggested to him to take a knee. It was a powerful statement, but he lost his job and never got it back. This is why you don't use your sporting platform to make a political statement. People like you for the sport that you play, not for your politics. The same can be true of celebrities, as we have seen over the last few years when anything they support always ends up losing. I spoke to him before the 2017 USGP and I had a helmet made in red with his number on top, but I was silenced and told to back down. I supported that decision, which I regret, because back then it wasn't okay to politicise the sport that you are taking part in. Unfortunately, in 2020, Marxist shit weasels have infiltrated most companies and organisations around the Western world, so this is what we get. Lewis Hamilton went on, so it was important for me to make sure I played my part this time and moving forward, whether there is going to be an opportunity to take the knee, 
I don't know. Actually, what he means there is he cannot miss out this time on some good old virtue signaling points because to these people, virtue signaling matters just as much as Black Lives Matter does. Let me tell you that. It is without doubt the main reason why they are doing this. They want virtue signaling points on social media, especially from the likes of the losers on Twitter. I don't want it to be a case of people feeling forced. I want people to be excited to be a part of the change. There is going to be no change. You are dreaming. I want people to think that while they are fortunate not to have experienced racism, we are experiencing it every day. What are you talking about? Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but at the moment, white people are experiencing it almost every day, and the people who are responsible actually get promoted by the likes of Cambridge University. They can try to understand what it feels like, and they don't want people to feel that way and want to be part of change. So in the future, our kids can lead a better quality of life. Well, the shit show that you're supporting is not going to do that, let me tell you. Hamilton took to social media to virtue signal a bit more, stating in a lengthy Twitter post, Today was an important moment for me and all the people out there who are working for and hoping for change. To me, it was an emotional and poignant chapter in the progress of making F1 a more diverse and inclusive sport. Well, to me, that sounds like they're going to start pushing drivers forward based on the colour of their skin rather than their ability to actually win races in the given category that they might be taking part in currently. The topic of taking a knee, which is associated with the Black Lives Matter movement, was discussed during a virtual meeting of all 20 F1 drivers on Friday night. Teams had left it up to the individual drivers to make up their own minds, while the FIA insisted it was not the job of the Sporting Federation to instruct the drivers on what is essentially a political decision, which I'm sure you would all agree is a completely nonsensical statement from the FIA. They should be telling their drivers not to take part in politics because some of their fans are not going to like it, which is exactly what we are seeing now. People are turning their backs on F1 and especially Lewis Hamilton over this. He is essentially vindicating all of the people in this country who didn't like him anyway with this complete and divisive bullshit, but what can we really expect? He is a celebrity after all, and an utter tosspot. It is understood, those who remain standing are uneasy about BLM's politics, as they bloody well should be. It's kind of obvious to anyone now. It's not exactly been hidden at any point though, let's be honest, it's openly available on their crowdfunding page. Both Leclerc and Verstappen posted messages before the Grand Prix, saying they were committed in the fight against racism. McLaren's Carlos Sainz, Russian Daniel Kyver, Alfa Romeo teammates Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovanni also stood up and you all have my respect for that you absolute legends. On Saturday, Hamilton had implied the division between his fellow drivers over the gesture which is associated with the Black Lives Matter movement is further proof of the racism in sport. So, sounds to me, he's essentially calling drivers that don't take the knee a bunch of racists, which is obviously taking the piss and he needs to be called out on. And he obviously refought it, as we can see here, saying nobody should be forced into a scenario where they have to kneel, he said on Sunday, because obviously it sounded like on Saturday Saturday. That is what he was trying to say. Realised he sounded like a bit of a cunt, probably got abused on Twitter and backtracked a little bit. I never requested or demanded for anyone to take a knee. I never brought it up. It was brought up by F1 and the GPDA. Sebastian Vettel and Roman Grosjean asked the drivers and there were several who said they wouldn't do it. I am really grateful for those who did it along with me. It is a powerful message, but whether you kneel or do not kneel, that is not going to change the world. It is a bigger issue than that. Well, I have to say that reading through that and some of the things that Lewis Hamilton's come out with, he has shown himself to be a complete and utter tosspot, as I've already said. Many people have told me that they didn't like him anyway, and this just proves them right, and I would kind of have to agree with them. He is certainly not making himself any more fans with this move and the way he is going about it. Most people in this country support ending racism and I would expect most, if not all, in the sport of F1 also support that, but they will not support BLM and most people hopefully will no longer support you, you complete and utter snivelling shit weasel. But as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel and my other social media links are down in the video description. If you want to come and support me on Twitter, BitChute and a variety of other platforms including my second youtube channel as i said all links are down in the video description there is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors slaves against their owners the peasantry against the feudal barons 
colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.